Welcome to my first video of 2019 and and I'm fresh from the land of the rising sun and I just want to go through my Japan haul. Yeah, so let's get to it. Let's get the fashion stuff out of the way. I just got like a few items. Okay, so I got this nice little jacket from Puma. It's pretty cool there. So they were all selling like really nice jackets and this one caught my eye and yeah that's it I mean it's it's awesome all right and then of course when you're in Japan you get a Japan exclusive shoe right so um, I got this Adidas NMD Japan exclusive shoe with the uh, Jap characters and yeah and for the souvenir stuff, I got this. There's this brand there that's called B-Side Label. And they sell like really awesome stickers um, that are waterproof. And you know, just they're pretty expensive for the size that you get. But they have like really, really nice designs to choose from. I mean, if you could, if I could just buy like tons of them. But as I said, they're pretty expensive. So I just got this little Japan um, just to remember it by and Godzilla, of course. And then I also got <laughs> heavily into the whole samurai thing. Um, so I got like four, a few items. Okay, so I got this mini samurai like keychain. And then... I got I got this samurai magnet, like ref magnet. Initially, I was thinking of just sticking it onto my studio gear, but it's in the ref now. And of course, I got this little cute <laughs> solar-powered samurai. So awesome! And lastly, um, I got this samurai like display that comes in a case and all um, yeah I, I think I'll I'll just post something about this on my social media once it's um, set up and put together but uh, I got this because I was thinking of getting a samurai souvenir and uh, I mean a katana souvenir or a samurai and this got this seemed more worth it because it comes with katanas and the mask and the armor and it even comes with a case so um, yeah this is what I got samurai and um, since this is primarily more about music and my life in music of course we will talk about the music hall. So towards the second to the last day, uh, my lovely wife uh, walked with me as we searched for uh, the nearest um, music stores from us. And it was funny because the first music store that we went to was more... Uh, I was looking for Fender stuff and they didn't have Fender uh, guitars or whatever Fender in their catalog and they had two floors but the second floor was all synths so I was really happy um, and they so so and I was still torn about getting a synth so I I just started getting like little items just so that I can say I can tell myself that I bought something so I got three items here the first night, this is what I got. Um, I got fret wraps. I got Groove Gear fret wraps. This is also available locally, but like I said, I just wanted to end up like buying something. Um, I've always wanted to get one, and well, it was time since I was there, and I'm planning on doing a bunch of guitar recordings um, these coming months. So, yeah, and orange, my favorite color. Let's get straight to it. I got this. I've always wanted to get um, the jack rack for my key for my keys. So um, for for the studio. So 
uh, finally got one. I also got this Marshall keychain. I got it for my jack rack. And lastly, for the, the stuff, the small stuff, I got this Blackstar Tone Link Bluetooth receiver. It was pretty interesting. I was just holding it like, um, do I need one of these? But I think I need one of these. It's gonna be useful for the studio. Um, off the bat, I'm thinking like, if I'm in the studio, I can just connect it to my speakers. And if someone or someone's in the studio and they want me to listen to something, they can just connect to this and they'll be blasting off the speakers. So, this is pretty interesting. As we walked out of that store, uh, it was already nighttime. I, there was, I missed this other store right in front of it that had four floors of guitars. So, so I decided that for our last day before our flight, I had to go there and pay a visit because right then and there, they had the sign like first floor, it's all of these. Second floor, Fender floor. Third floor, Gibson floor. And just seeing that Fender floor like made me realize I really have to visit. So of course, I didn't go there to buy a guitar, but I ended up with some pretty interesting stuff. So I've always, I got this Fender Custom Shop shirt. Uh, I don't have a Custom Shop guitar yet. So uh, I settled for a shirt for now. Uh, I've always wanted to get one. And the thing that really got me like really, really <laughs> happy was seeing this. Uh, -da! Strat bookends. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> and so, I, I, good thing like before I went to this store, I bought a big backpack because we knew we were over already. So, I had to get a bag, and like it was really just God's favor that this fit exactly inside the bag. If you can see, it's really bulky, but I got to put it in. So it's awesome, like it's a real strat inside. Really cool. When I went back, I had to go back to the first store in the synth section because I really was thinking, should I really should I get something? Should I get a synth or whatever? And I was also considering the space uh, in my bag already. Uh, as you as you've seen the bookends are like really huge so I ended up with a, a, a tiny synth ah. and I got this it's the teenage engineering OPZ uh, yeah I, as you can as you can see I haven't even opened it because I'm still uh, reading up on it and I'm, I'm just learning a lot first on the reviews and like how people use it so I'm pretty excited to use this especially with the video stuff and the multimedia stuff that it does yeah and then we passed by um, a tower records of course everybody knows that CDs are more expensive in other countries compared to the Philippines so I didn't want to splurge on on music CDs I was waiting for my wife so I was listening through the listening um, through the listening stations like different bunch of music right and a lot of them were familiar to me but this one was not so it's the first it's the first time I heard of this band called Ammo and they're they're awesome um the production is really top notch in the sense that they mixed like rock with like modern production that's why i bought it more for research and inspiration on certain directions so it's cool like i said i didn't want to spend on on music 
I so I went there and specifically looked at the videos and this was on display so I had to get it the the live aid uh, set of Queen and yeah my wife also wanted to get it so this has the approval <laughs> and then um, I got this the Foo Fighters live at Wembley just wanted to to watch them of course who doesn't like Foo Fighters and of course uh, this was this one I was pretty excited to to like to pick up the let's play 2 by Pearl Jam it's another it's a, it's a documentary of their live uh, show Yeah. yeah there's, I was trying to read off of, of the of the back part, but anyway, uh, yeah, I was pretty excited because I'm a huge Pearl Jam fan, and uh, I was so happy to see this. So I'm really excited to watch this. So that's it for my Japan haul. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.